Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, and I just remade Hunter Huntsman's bed, and in this video I'm going to show you what I did and then do a few shoutouts at the end. Looking at his old bed, it's very easy to see why so many of you asked me to remake it. It's almost comical looking at it now. I thought it would be a great idea to put a tent on top of his bed to remind Hunter of his times in the great outdoors. Except the way I made it, he never quite fit in there, so I am glad you guys pushed me to remake it. So for his headboard, I chose this laser cut wooden bench from the Woodshape store. I actually think it could look really nice as a headboard. I painted it an olive green color. I really like that design of branches. It reminds me of pine trees deep in a forest. And Hunter loves to spend his time in the great outdoors, so I think he'll like it too. This is a smooth foam block that is both wider and less thick than the smooth foam block I usually use. And I decided to cover it it with this mossy blanket which I did using hot glue however as you can see it exploded on the carpet as well and I was very sad about that after I cleaned it up I decided to make him a footboard using these wooden soap stirrers for soap making as well as two doll pins I painted everything brown and then I started hot gluing the soap stirrers into the slits in the doll pins I'm not too worried about the fact that it doesn't look all that finished and the paint looks uneven because Hunter is not a fancy guy. What I am gonna do though is cover up the spots where I dropped hot glue by accident with some of that excess moss. There was certainly enough of it on my carpet. So I then hot glued the headboard to the bed to the footboard and now we have a uh, a bed I think that Hunter is going to love because it's going to remind him of sleeping in the great outdoors. And to assist him with that, I decided to, instead of making him a, a blanket, I'm making him a sleeping bag. And I followed my Froggy Stuffs video, um, except that I did not use a needle and thread because I don't know how yet. I missed <laughs> somehow that class in high school. So I used hot glue. It came out a bit thicker than it probably would have if I had used needle and thread, but I still think it looks like Hunter. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down on top of his mossy bed. All that remains now is to put on a pillow. I found these great um, mossy pads and I thought this would be great to double as Hunter's pillow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as a place for him to rest his head. And we are now done. And here's Hunter checking out his bed. Hey, thanks so much for making me a bed. I'm gonna go ahead and take myself a nap now. Oh, that feels so comfy. Oh man, I forgot to take off my boots. Oh man. All right guys, well I hope you liked my Hunter Huntsman bed remake. I hope you'll tell me what you think in the comments below. Now let's do some shout outs to Estefani Morales and Tutorials for Life 13. Thanks for watching my videos guys, I hope you enjoyed this one.